Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Uh, I've updated Bling Edit to version 1.0.5, and that comes with a few highly requested features, one of which is cloning with rotation and flipping. I'll get to that in a little bit. First, I want to show you the new anchor point selection system. It used to be that you had to physically attack anchor points, so if there's something was like in the ground, you couldn't actually select it. Uh, now I've updated that so that it uses ray casting to select it, and so even if something is pretty deep underground, you can select... Uh, or behind walls or whatever. You can select anchor points from up to 30 blocks away. You'll notice that they glow blue when you're hovering over them, and that's that's how you know if you can select it with a click. Um, so I'm just gonna select this little house here. Uh, that works a lot better, and it's, it's also just like a lot more responsive and stuff. So that's a nice feature, but uh, I think the one that people have been requesting more so was cloning with flip and rotation. So let's go ahead and plop down a copy of this house, except before I hit clone or confirm clone, if you look up at the top left corner of my screen, you'll see two armor stands and they're facing the same direction. By default, the clone is gonna be an exact copy facing the same direction and everything. Let's say I do flip left to right. You'll now notice they're facing each other. Um, if I look at it from this side, the shields and swords are still on the same side, um, but, uh, but yeah, they're facing each other. So I basically flipped left and right uh, so the chimney is going to go on the left, etc. And if I hit confirm clone, you'll see that's what happens. It's a mirror image. Um, but not only that, I've also got rotation. And so let's plop this down. Now when I hit, uh, let's do rotate right. So that's uh, that's clockwise. Clockwise. And I'll hit rotate right. You'll notice that the region has is now at a 90 degree angle. And, um, and you'll also notice that the armor stands are at 90 degrees angles to each other. So you can use the armor stands to see which way is which and which direction you're gonna rotate. The red armor stand corresponds to the source region and the green armor stand corresponds to the destination region. If you like flip left, right a couple times, it'll just go back to the original thing. So you can do uh, a lot of stuff with that and then I hit confirm clone and you'll see that I took this and I rotated it clockwise. You'll see the chimney is now over there. The front door is now over here. Now this doesn't work with things like stairs or what else, torches that are on walls. It won't rotate them for you. There's no real easy way to do that in game. And the only way to do it and maintain all the properties of those blocks uh, would just be like thousands of function files and it would be really messy. Um, after a conversation with Dinnerbone, I decided to hold off on trying to implement something like that until 1.14 because he hinted that maybe it'd be a little bit easier in 1.14. Um, there's a couple other little things. If you'll notice, uh, it says size 12 by 8 by 9, volume 864. So that's the size of the selected region, just to tell you what's how big it is. The volume can help you understand like how, how long an operation is going to take. Like Let's say I hit delete. 864 happens instantaneously, relatively close to instantaneously, but if I like have a huge region and let's see, volume 52,000 and I hit delete, you can see 50, 52,000 is going to take a bit longer and it actually took a, a couple seconds there, maybe like a second. Um, so that'll give you an estimate for how long the, those sorts of operations can take. And then the other thing is I, um, I fixed Bling Edit so that it now works in the nether and the end. Um, and pl all the plugins and everything will automatically update to, to work in the nether and the end as well. Uh, you know what? Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do have to reselect your your um, sword or fishing rod or whatever your bling edit tool is. Um, but yeah, it, it just all kind of works. Delete, fill with, oh, I deleted. Fill with, let's fill it with nether rack, replace all that stuff I just deleted. Yeah, it's good to go. So a lot, a lot of people are or I got a few messages complaining about that. Um, I did do, I did so, do some updates, some sort of like bug fixes that might have broken some plugins. So check for new versions of whatever plugins you might be using. If you're looking for plugins, check out the Bling Edit subreddit. Uh, there's a link to that in the video description, along with a link to the manual, which contains the download link for 1.0.5 if you don't already have it. Um, yeah, it's some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on Bling Edit, I'm pretty sure, but. Uh, it's got, a, it's got a pretty good feature set now. A lot of things that people are asking for. All right, well, check out the link in the video description. That's about it. Thanks for watching.